describe the feeling in this arena is ominous. There is a chill in the air. And King, what horrors must John Cena be prepared to overcome? Thanks, James. So how was your daughter's birthday? Oh, it was pretty good. That gift you sent her though was fantastic. Hey, I gotta keep my number one fan happy. Ah! Oh! That's gonna hurt. What's up, John? Good luck tonight. Thanks, Joe. Hey, go easy on him, he's got a match. Yeah, right. Aw, oh, Jack, your face marked up the floor. Have fun, you two. running weekly episodic television show in history. This is Monday Night Raw. Oh, no! Bella, you and I are gonna dance. Sheamus? What, what's Sheamus doing out here? Oh my gosh, this is horrible! Somebody get him out of here! Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, this was supposed to be a non-title match between John Cena and The Undertaker. But for some reason, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, has decided to viciously attack Cena. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Monday Night Raw. It's been a wild night thus far, as we've already learned who four of the members representing Team Raw will be at bragging rights. Well, here we go. Sheamus has made quite an impression in a short amount of time. He won the WWE Championship less than six months after his WWE debut, the second fastest rise in history. Yeah, but that's the past, Michael. Now Sheamus is without a title and competing against another fast-rising star in Daniel Bryan. Oh, great move off the top rope. Tremendous action in this match. Fall away slam, my goodness, the strength. I have a feeling we're gonna see several more demonstrations like that before the night's over. Oh, no! Belly to belly suplex. Come on, don't get scared. Let them tear each other apart. This match isn't close to being done. Oh! Yeah! Bragging rights is four short weeks away. 
For those of you unfamiliar with the concept, members of Team Raw and Team SmackDown compete in a seven-on-seven -seven tag team match, and the winning team earns bragging rights for the rest of the year. Without a doubt, that winning team this year will be Team Raw. I mean, we already have Alberto Del Rio, as well as the contenders for the WWE Tag Team Championship, William Regal and Drew McIntyre. Speaking of Regal and McIntyre, how upset were they when they found out they had to wait for their opportunity to face the WWE Tag Team Champions? Oh boy, I thought Regal's face was ugly before that scowl. Earlier tonight, Sheamus attacked John Cena, kicking him off that entrance ramp and through a table. Well, Sheamus did say that he was co Hey! And this time, Sheamus, the Irish curse. Watch it, he looks fired up here. Oh no! Look at the strength of this guy. High cross. The Celtic warrior is brutal. Shoulders down. One, One two, two, three. three. Sheamus wins. That's right. Sheamus is on a mission. He says that he wants Cena's title, and then he'll do whatever it takes to do just that. Cena already has an opponent at bragging rights in four weeks' time, but the Celtic Warrior might have something to say about that. Good night. To Monday Night Raw, the WWE prepares for battle as Team Raw and Team SmackDown will square off at bragging rights in just three weeks. That's right. it's a shame. What's this to hear about being forced to compete for Team Raw? The truth is, Team Raw, Team SmackDown, I couldn't care less. All I want is a title match against John Cena at bragging rights. Hold on a second there, Bella. I think the truth is, you're too scared to face us. I'm scared of no man. Not that I see any in front of me. Really? Really? You need to try looking in the mirror sometime, because the only thing more terrifying than that mug is Wade Barrett's butchery of the English language. What do you want? On second thought, I don't care what you want. You come out here and make fun of me, that was a mistake. So, I'll get a couple of fellas, and the three of us will see the three of you later tonight. Oh no, please. I really don't want to see that face again. I don't think I can do it. That's it. Sheamus going to throw Barrett off the ledge. Much swagger and Miz are there for the save, and now it's Sheamus. Wow. Sheamus is on fire. Miz, Barrett, and Swagger may be in serious trouble tonight. Sheamus. 
Well, it looks like we're about to get a bragging rights preview right now. Normally, I'd know who to pull for between these six, but all I can say is, go Team Raw! And that's coming up next. The following six-man tag team match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, William Regal, and Drew McIntyre. So it'll be Miz and William Regal starting off in this six-man tag team match. And don't forget that at bragging rights, the teams will be much larger. Oh, right on the spine. Regal, vicious and physical. When it comes to pure technicians in the WWE, William Regal might be one of the best. Now that was awesome. I wonder, King, if Team SmackDown regrets poking fun of the Celtic Warrior yet. Well, if they don't, I'm sure Miz's face regrets it. Miz with a textbook counter. Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. Big move coming. Regal has the headlock. William Regal knows how to make even the simplest move more devastating. Oh, no! William Regal's so crafty and cagey, he can hurt you in so many ways. Watch it! There's the suplex. This guy's just too strong. Backdrop, and that was a nasty landing. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. Yeah. Not this time. Barrett's ready to come in. I don't know what that's about. Regal controlling the waist. William Regal possesses such a sinister and evil move set. Every move physically and mentally wears on his adversaries. William Regal could break a man down a million different ways. That chop turning his chest to deep purple. Miz and Jack Swagger seem to be disrespecting their tag partner, Wade Barrett. Yeah, and I'm not sure how wise that is. They'll need to count on him at bragging rights. Good Lord, what impact from the double team. And now he's back out of the apron. He's in a bad spot here. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, well, I can guarantee he feels way worse about it. Uh-oh, this is bad. A huge, bone-jarring German suplex. Swagger from behind. A 
vicious chop. My goodness, Sheamus is just so hard to stop. Wait a minute. And now Sheamus, the Irish curse. Just don't cross Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett had enough, and Team SmackDown may have just paid a huge price. And Team Raw comes out better for it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. Last week, we had a bragging rights preview as three members of Team Raw faced three members of Team SmackDown. And while the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Marietta, Georgia, weighing 223 pounds, dashing Cody Rhodes. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing 272 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. So this will be a one-on-one -on -one match between Sheamus and Dashi Cody Rhodes. Oh, this is a Beauty and the Beast match if there ever was one. You know, King Cody does seem to get a lot of attention from the ladies. Well, Sheamus is certainly a beast, as John Cena found out two weeks ago on Raw. Watch it! And he targets the arm. Sheamus patterns himself after the feared and barbaric Celtic warriors of the past. What's he gonna do here? For weeks now, Sheamus has complained about being, quote, forced to compete for Team Raw. Well, Sheamus wants to face Cena for the World Heavyweight Championship, and he's going to wreak havoc until he gets what he wants. Dangerous submission hold here. How much punishment can he absorb? Whoa! And he fights his way out. Look out! Headbutt! He landed right on his neck from that German suplex. Uh-oh, this is bad. Right to the back of the head. King, unfortunately, you felt Sheamus' strength firsthand. Yeah, you're right about that. I don't know if there's anyone in the WWE that has as much power and strength as Sheamus. Oh, no! In two weeks, Cody Rhodes will be joined by The Miz. Ja hey! And this time, Sheamus, the Irish curse. Cody takes too many of those. He won't be. Can he score the pin? One, two, two three. three. Sheamus wins. You want to get in the way of Sheamus right now, regardless if you're on Team SmackDown or Team Raw. The Celtic Warrior is a man possessed with bragging rights just two weeks away. What will he do next? Halloween. We are a mere six days away from the ultimate showdown at bragging rights. King, what's your take on how things are shaping up for Team Raw and Team SmackDown? Well, it's getting downright scary. I mean, Team SmackDown's not getting along, and Team Raw's in even worse shape. Everybody's...
damas y caballeros, en el camino es el cuadro rápido. Él es el verdadero hijo de México. Alberto de Río. From Sylvie, Texas. Weight 418 pounds each is the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Weighing 241 pounds, the rated R superstar, Edge. And their opponent from Blackpool, England, weighing 240 pounds, William Regal. From Air Scotland, weighing 256 pounds, Drew McIntyre. From Dublin, Ireland, weighing 272 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Seamus. I don't like this at all, Michael. Now, there's no treats here as these six Team Raw members get ready to hopefully work out any differences leading into bragging rights. Big move coming. Attack right to the back. Sheamus enjoys showing absolutely no remorse. And an opportunistic maneuver by Edge. What a shot that was by Edge. Oof. Sheamus had no clue what just hit him. Edge connected. Edge got all that one. My goodness. Sheamus is just so hard to stop. And now his partner comes in. Oh my, what a double team move. And he finally gets out of the ring. This is a very effective submission hold. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. That could be what we're seeing here. Even though they'll be partners this Sunday, there's really no love lost between these men. I wouldn't have thought they'd battle each other this close to bragging rights. But right now, the Raw family is putting the fun in dysfunctional. Hey! When it comes to pure technicians in the WWE, William Regal might be one of the best. His partner's being punished and he's seen it up. And now he's back out on the apron. Edge showing the wherewithal to reverse it. What's Edge going to do here? He's in a bad spot here. <laughs> Countered by Sheamus. Watch out! Look 
at this. He's in bad shape. He's got to make the tag. What's he up to here? Sheamus controlling the arm. Watch out here. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Hooking the leg. One, two. And Edge manages to kick out. How in the world? How in the world did Edge kick out there? Who knows? He's done it throughout his career, and he's doing it again tonight. He's got it locked in. This could do it. He's wearing him down with a very effective submission hold. Oh gosh, the back. That could very well dislocate a vertebra. Look at the eyes of McIntyre. Everything he does is with purpose. And he gets the tag. And here's a cover. And Edge kicks out. If you're just joining us, welcome to Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole, alongside the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. Oh my gosh! Sheamus throwing more pain, more hurt. Oh, look out! And a wicked clothesline. We got a tag. Oh, what an incredible move. And he finally gets out of the ro and there are the ropes. Look at Regal's hand. What a vicious move by Regal. In the ropes and that may have been the only escape. We know what this is. the victory here is your winner Shema. come on guys save it for sunday enough it's the captain of team raw triple h i'm glad to see you're staying limber before our match this sunday i just wanted to let you know i've been notified that the team that wins the bragging rights match will receive future title matches wow so you can either tear each other apart now, or you can save it for Team SmackDown. The choice is up to you. How's that for an incentive? Let's talk later. I have an idea. And now, the WWE presents Bragging Rights. And here we go. This one is for all the bragging rights. Quickly the rules. The match will begin one-on-one. -on -one. Tags are in effect. Once a member from a team is pinned, submits, is counted out, or is disqualified, they'll be ejected from the match and replaced by one of the six other members of a team. When all seven members of a team have been eliminated, the team left standing will be declared the winner. Those are the rules. But King, what are your thoughts on the strategy in this type of match? Well, in this type of match, you want to keep the advantage. Every member of your team is important, and you never want to be shorthanded. So teamwork is extremely important in winning this match. Sheamus controlling the arm. Look at this! Look at this!
Oh, did you see that? His body twisting and turning in a sickening way. Rhodes looking to deliver some big time impact. Watch out here. He desperately, desperately needs to make a tag here. Watch it. out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. Can he score the pin? One, two. And Rhodes powers out at a count of two. Cody takes too many of those. He won't be dashing anymore. All the way slam. Oh, gosh. Hey, what do you want for your last meal? Drop. He thinks he has it. One, One two, two, three. three. Raw's on the board. But look who's next. Oh. Big Show with a oh. tremendous display of power. Oh, man, what a shot. One, two, three. And Big Show evens things up again. Look out! Uh. Big Show! One, and just like two, that, Big Show three. puts his team up two to one. Well, here comes Del Rio and the Raw team captain, Triple H. Del Rio's charged in. Let's see if he has any better luck than Mark Henry and William Regal in dealing with Big Show. Oh my gosh, did you see his head? Man, I love this guy. Alberto Del Rio, a real Mexican aristocrat. Now, I think you just love his fancy cars, Michael. Just because your car still has that pizza sign on top of it. Oh man, Alberto just rocked it. Big move coming. What an incredible suplex. We're going to see a lot of effective moves like that in this match. And there's the count. And that series ends in deadlock. Neither one of these superstars can afford to give their opponent the upper hand. Oh, man. What impact from that suplex. Now that's how you do it. He may be intent on breaking the arm. And I would love to be like Alberto Del Rio, my own ranch in northern Mexico. And best of all, when I come out, I can have my own ring announcer. you got to be kidding me. This guy is so arrogant. He is so pompous. I can't wait to see him get brought down a notch. And he wants to get out of there in the worst way. A colossal counter. Del Rio has the arm. He's got him up. Oh, tremendously painful move to the spine. How do you match Alberto Del Rio's versatility, King? And what I mean is, at times it seems like Del Rio can do anything. Well, I know exactly what you mean, but I still don't know the answer. What I can say is, you want to avoid his submissions, mat game, and aerial move. But if you can do that, then I'm not sure you ever come out of the ring. Yeah! A beautiful kick to the head from Del Rio. Wait a minute. Look at the look on Del Rio's face. Cross arm breaker. The arm's hyper extended. And this should do it. Oh, man. Yeah, that'll take the wind out of your sails. Ah, look at this. Watch out here. That'll give you a whiplash. I wonder if I can rent Ricardo Rodriguez for the night. Then he can introduce me when I come to the ring. 
If I rented Ricardo Rodriguez for a night, I'd have the oil in his hair change. Watch it. One word describes this assault. Punishment. He's absolutely punishing his opponent here. Del Rio's going to take a chance. Whoa! What a huge move. Oh, man, is he fired up to take a chance like that? Do you know how badly he must want to win this? Oh, that can't feel good. Alberto Del Rio has everything in life, and he got there in part by his drive to simply be the best. What's Del Rio going to do with this? Uh-oh, this is bad. And he has to make a tag to his fresh partner. <laughs> Big Show's been taken off his feet. Oh, Big Show's in trouble. He's gonna tap. Oh my, Big Show's fighting it. He can't believe it! Oh. And Big Show picks up Two, his third elimination. Three. In a matter of minutes, Big Show has eliminated the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, William Regal, and Alberto Del Rio. Yeah, they get to just sit back and watch Big Show clean house. And that's the genius of the SmackDown team. Without a doubt, they've come tonight with the better game plan. And he tags out. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Watch out here. to the ribs. What's going to happen here? Oh, man. All the weight on the knee and ankle. Just hanging like that will take its toll. Oh, a cardinal mistake there. After that, I'd be searching in my tights for a white flag I could wave. Huge fist to the big show. In another. In another. Uh-oh. The giant looks angry. Choke slam. Oh, man. What a save. They aren't really going to try this. They can't do it. He's too heavy. And here's some more help. Wow! Somehow they did it! That should do it right there. One, two, three! Unbelievable! Big Show's been eliminated! After eliminating three of the seven members of Team Raw, Big Show's been eliminated himself. Finally. But now Orton's joined in. So Orton, Miz, and Jack Swack will work to build on the lead generated by the world's largest athlete. Orton escapes. We got a tag. Oh, man, what a neck breaker. is such a student of his craft. There are few superstars that are as technically proficient as Triple H. Oh. 
polished, uncanny game is so astute. Triple H executed that move to perfection. Right now, Team SmackDown still has the advantage with five... And the game hits the Spine Buster! Whoa! He's measuring. Oh, what a pedigree! Submission hole! And he lets him out! Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. Uh-oh, I think that really hurt his arm. King, how can you not be impressed with the Miz? It's not that I'm not impressed with his actions in the ring, it's his ego that I have a problem with. It's so big it needs its own zip code. Triple H looking for some big impact. The game goes behind. The game's got him. He's got evil intentions. Superplex. The impact sounded like an explosion in the ring. He makes the tag. His partner doesn't have much left, and he might need to do this one on his own. Nothing flashy about that by the game, but it most certainly was effective. What's the game gonna do here? Orton with a fiendish counter. Uh-oh, this is bad. So far, he's been dominating this match, but you gotta assume he'll need to tag in his partner sooner or later. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. The game is so good at isolating and exploiting. Oh, and Triple H saw it coming. The game. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hole. After the three quick eliminations created by Big Show, the pace seems to have slowed a bit. Well, mark my words, things will heat up any minute now. He's in big trouble here, pinned in the corner and eating haymakers. Triple H looking for some big impact. Watch out here. Oh, jeez. Nice backdrop. Scoop slam. And the Viper prepares to strike. Oh, watch it, ref. Stupid ref, what are you doing? Hey, Orton. Look at the heads up thinking by the Miz. With the official down, Miz wants Orton to capitalize. How smart is the Miz now? How smart is the Miz? Very. He is the greatest mind in WWE today. Yeah, well, I still don't like him. One, two, three. 
Let him hear it, Miz. Wait, turn around, Miz. Turn around. Ooh. No. Yes. Ooh. One, two, three. I'm sorry, King, but that was a bad call by the official. What are you talking about? Well, obviously, Miz wasn't ready. He just picked up a huge pin over the game and then drew McIntyre, who I'm not even sure was legal, comes in and gets the cover. This is ridiculous. Well, it did happen, so get over it. So it'll be up to Mysterio now to get some vengeance for Miz on Drew McIntyre. Look at this. Look at this. A tremendously painful move to the spine. Little wasted movement by McIntyre. It's a straight-ahead, pounding offensive style. Watch out here. Hold it up. End over end. Controlling the... And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Oh, my gosh. Did you see his head? Mr. McMahon predicted one day Drew McIntyre would be champion. And within less than six months of his arrival, Drew McIntyre won the prestigious Intercontinental Championship. Here we go, tree of woe. Oh, you are completely defenseless here. Wow, simply put, Rey Mysterio can do things no other man can do. Uh-oh. The big boot. What a sickening impact. Look at this bully. This is disgusting. Well, no one picks on Mysterio. Oh! There goes Mysterio! 619! And there goes Drew McIntyre! Into the cover, hooks the leg! One, two, three! With McIntyre out, Team Raw is down to Sheamus and Edge, while Team SmackDown still has Mysterio, Swagger, and Wade Barrett. And think about this, both Swagger and Barrett are completely fresh. Has there ever been a superstar that could do something like that? Well, there's only one Rey Mysterio. That was incredible. Oh, look out! What an amazing battle this has been. I can't believe it. Not only do we still have five superstars remaining, but with the exception of The Miz, both teams have worked fairly well together. And he's in a tough predicament. There's no escaping this. And he breaks the hold. I guess he wants to try something else. I don't know what more you'd want to do to another man. <laughs> that arm's not going to be good for much after this assault. And he rolls out, buying himself some breathing room. Time for him to reassess the situation. Look at this! Look at this!
And this time, Sheamus. Good Lord, look at the fire in his eye. You hear how his leg connected? Hooking the leg. One, two. Man, the speed of Mysterio is just unreal. Ray going for some big impact. Here goes Mysterio. Whoa, right on target. The sacrifice you must be willing to take to compete in the big leagues in the WWE is unreal.